question says to find x. So we're going to find x. And we know by the law of sines that a over sine a equals b over sine b, which equals c over sine c. And that is the formula, but we only need two of those. So here we know that x and 23 are opposite each other and 55 and 12. So we can say that 12 over sine 55 will equal x over sine 23. So it's got to be the angle and the side opposite. So it's the sine of the angle and then the side. Here we're going to cross multiply. So we can bring this one up and multiply. This one can stay where it is. So therefore we get that x equals 12 times sine 23 divided by sine 55 degrees. And you get your calculator out and therefore x equals 5.72. Now, sometimes you can get this question wrong if your calculator is not in degree mode, it's in radian mode, so make sure your calculator is in the right mode. Rule of science here again, find theta this time. We know that 7 over sine 23 equals 12 over sine theta. We turn both of these fractions upside down. It helps us actually isolate sine theta. Because sine theta, we want to get this on its own. So we're going to take the 12 up and multiply. So we get 12 times sine 23 over 7 equals sine of theta. Sine theta equals 0.6698. And then I'm going to add a couple of more decimal places, 247, because I want to find theta. And you find theta by pressing the sine negative 1 button on your calculator. And obviously put all those decimal places in, 98247. And you get theta equals... 42.05 degrees. Now the problem is here, is that in quadrant 1, 2, 3 and 4, sine is positive in quadrants 1 and 2, we know that. And we know that both of these angles equal 42.05. So therefore there is another value of theta we know in quadrant 1, theta does equal 42.05. And in quadrant 2, it's 180 minus 42.05, which is equal to 137.95. And that's important. This means there might be two solutions to this triangle, and you have to now write it out. So we know if we give these angles in this triangle some letters... So for solution 1, we know that angle A is 23 degrees. And we know that angle C, which is just we worked out as theta, is 42.05 degrees. And therefore, subtracting from 180, we get that angle B, that's a 65, is going to be 114.95 degrees. So that, we know, is solution 1. Now, is solution 2 possible? Well, let's have a look. Angle A is 23 degrees. Angle C could equal this other one up here, 137. And that's what we've got to try and work out. Angle C is 137.95 degrees. When we add these two angles up in this triangle here, add this one and this one, if they are underneath 180, then a second triangle exists, and of course they do because you get 150, 160.95, so therefore this third angle is 19.05 degrees. So there's two triangles exist, and that's where this ambiguous 
two solution case happens. So the question asks to find two values of B. Okay, well B is going to be opposite angle B. So we're going to look at the law of sines and find and we know that 9 over sine 31 equals 12 over sine C. And if we mess around with this, we get that sine C equals 12 times sine 31 divided by 9. So we're just going to work out the answer for that. We get sine C equals 0 0.686717. And angle C will equal 43. 0.37, or in quadrant 2, it's going to be 180 minus that, which is 136.63 degrees. So now we've got to test our case to see if we've got two triangles or not. Solution 1 is going to exist. We've got angle A is 31 degrees. Angle C, we've just worked out going to be this one, 43.37. And if we add those two up and subtract from 180, we'll get B. That gives me 74.37, which is 105.63 for a single B. Solution 2, on the other hand, we know angle A is 31 degrees. Angle C is the that one there, 136. 63 degrees and angle B if these two add up less than 180 which they do 167 so 12.37 degrees so we do indeed have two triangles we've got one triangle that looks exactly like the diagram given so A B and C and we've got all the information 12 9 31 degrees this angle up here is 105.63 therefore the one we want is this B here and we know that 9 over sine 31 equals B over sine 105.63 and B equals 16.82 the other triangle is a triangle that looks like this A again 31 degrees 9 12 and this angle up here is this one here 12.37 and of course we've got to find the other side of B so that is going to be 9 over sine 31 equals B over sine 12 and then B this time equals 3.74. So the two answers we've got are B equals 16.82 and B equals 3.74. That is an IB level question.